It's a pretty unique thing, goal kicking. Like, if you think about it, it's, it's like playing golf in the middle of a rugby match. When a whistle goes for a kick, and your heart rate could be going through the roof and your your ass take a kick, or, you know, you could be carrying two or three knocks and your ass take a kick. So that's the challenge. That's why you can miss a pretty straightforward kick at times. We used to wear heart rate monitors in games. The highest was for me when, when the penalty was awarded, and then the rest of the time you're trying to get your heart rate down. I think having a process is the, the most important thing. Um, and then the hardest thing is just trusting it, just uh, just try not to let anything else come in and get in the way. I don't think being judged as a rugby player is hard because, you know, you've done it so many times and you know that when you play on a Saturday, everyone's going to be talking about it Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, until the next game. And you get used to that. But it's the stuff where you get judged for your, your personality that can, that can bother me, I think. Um, because people don't actually know you, they just judge you by the 80 minutes on a, on a Saturday, they don't see you the rest of the time, so um, that's not you, you know what I mean? Over the years, you know, different incidents would have led to people thinking you're a certain type of person or that you're angrier than you actually are, but that's the hard part, isn't it? You're going to get criticised for something. It's still very hard to, to talk about yourself, so I don't. you'd have to ask someone else. Being in a team, I think, um, you know, teaches you a lot. you got to deal with people, you got to you learn how to deal with people. Um, you know, people that aren't the same as yourself, and, and I suppose that teaches you a lot. Um, so yeah, rugby, I think, can teach you some good lessons for, for outside of rugby, uh, for life really.